if the Pag Moss was actually like being useful, it probably changed the matchup a lot. Like it'd be really hard to win from the Gardevoir side if it actually just stopped all my attacks, but it doesn't, so. Different guy? Yeah, well, found out. It's just a bunch of letters, so I was like, damn. That's the, like, you know, it's all, it's all words. This hand kind of sucks. Yeah, it does. It's terrible. I should have actually started rolls probably because I could burst. Mm. But it's not going to matter because it's just going to kill my only rolls turn turn. I'm going to lose. <sighs> At least we get the dead hands out of the way when we're playing against Lost Zone. Ideally, so we have some good top decks here. Any Mew draw is good. Any out to Mew is good. Any out to I know research is good. Um, yeah, I don't know. How's Chiampao doing in the meta at the moment? Not bad, not terrible. Not insane or anything, but definitely not terrible. So I'm playing Pokemon TCG and someone along your YouTube channel. People are happy. What's up? It's good to see you here. The question is how much do you need to sex specifically for Gardi? Yeah, exactly. And uh, Chimpao, that's like the main thing, in my opinion as well. Okay, well, that's a Mew out, so we just got to go for that. Here he's pretty set up, so I'm not too disappointed that we have the Planet Artis in here. I'm just going Mew, trying to hit VIP Pass. VIP Pass gets Greninja as well, so it's like pretty good. Am I in this turn by bossing his Greninja just to burn a Switch card? Could be useful enough. Kinda sucks. Take Fog. Yeah, I'll leave the um, other thing in deck. Yeah, I think um, bossing up Ninja has some merit here. If he doesn't have Chorus in hand, it could really help. I mean, it just, this is, I think the situations where it could really help us. He lost in second Sableye, which is really, really nice. Because it means it's like oh, near impossible for him to develop a board that is just double Sableye with two energies on it, which is kind of necessary for them in this matchup. So, yeah. So ideally he just whiffed the cram attack, but I don't think that's what's going to happen. To guess, probably just cram attacks, kills, uh, and does hit them out if he kills. Gets Sableye down. It's fine. Stop. Stop's good for us, actually. Eh. Not really. Dude, he gets rope. This card's Ogre Energy, though. But he got rope, so. I mean, he still needs. If he doesn't have course, he still needs an energy, but I mean, that's so easy. Energy will switch. I think it's just always this. Oh, I'm getting blown up by Greninja next time, dude. Okay, so he's going comfy here, which is interesting. He's already down double switch cart robe, not in lost zone. He's down four energies. So maybe not that anymore. Getting her switch cart's a terrible sign. Such a good card. Got a cool video series that has your name all over it, James. Not gonna lie. You can message it to me or just let me know here. I don't mind. I'm already doing some really cool stuff. But any ideas, I'll take them. Second row, probably give him Mew. I mean, that's fine. I'm down for that. Your content's in fire lately. Thank you, Burts. You shy? Yeah. Been putting a uh, decent amount of effort in, so. Hey, yeah, my champ video killed it, to be honest, which is great. Love to see that.
good mana. Okay. Let's get double Kalia. Okay. So do this, this. Now we go. I don't know. I don't know, it was a very good draw there. <clears throat> so yeah, we're looking for like, I don't even know. Okay. So we got this, this is fine. You can discard Ultra Ball here, the Ultra Ball is relatively useless. So we already got the energy down Sableye and a seven in Lost Zone, which is so annoying actually. Okay, I'm just gonna level ball for double rolls and pass. I can get back mana for you next time if needed or not. You can decide on it. Maybe it's actually too much to get this rolls to be honest. Cause if he just goes, nah, eh. Double candy and decks, I could still hit double candy next time. It's a bit of a cope, but I'll go for it. Whatever, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I can retreat to roll, it's actually, I'm down to sack roll, it's over mana fee here. We have this, okay. And I'll, I don't think I'm supposed to collapse here. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to send the collapse next turn, but he's just gonna just got comfy and not be affected by it at all. So, Pass. Rope, I just get another roll, I'm chill with that. <clears throat> so you just use a rope to switch. He's down triple rope, triple switch cart. Which is okay for us, I guess. Yeah, triple rope, triple switch cart. Still has gates left though. He has tons of gates left. What's up, Alienus? How are you doing? Okay, catching up. The scary thing seeing people back getting people back is seeing the old faces. The scary thing with seeing people getting back in uh is seeing all the old faces back, like they enough to fund a browser, TCG client, yeah. Has also not been effective as much by owners people thought it actually had. It, it has, I think. Maybe not as much, but it, like it's still good. I think uh, many people might have thought it's just gonna die, but uh, it's it's been not bad. Single strike is six, so much damage. Uh, but it feels bad against all the one prize decks. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Uh, I messed with Kyoga. Not he's so blind. I just got Kelly now. Yeah. Make him do something about it. But yeah, I think it's definitely been affected. Um, what's it called? It's definitely been affected. I think I'm just gonna go evolve to Gardevoir X, Super Odd, back Kelly, and then Clash Research. My goal would be to evolve everything, but we'll see how it goes. Ideally, this time I would just go God X. Kill this Sableye without putting too much damage on I mean, it's pretty tough. I'll just go Guard EX. I, I guess 40 damage is fine. Wait, he plays triple Sableye. What the hell? No way. So yeah, I'm just trying to dig for Iono here, I guess, is another bit important thing. Let's see what he... Oh, he's going to go Kill Manaphy. Okay, Kill Manaphy is the wrong move. It's very good for us that he's going for Kill Manaphy here. Very, very good. Triple Sableye, yeah, Triple Sableye is actually a good call. I don't mind Triple Sableye. Damage to bench, that's so interesting. I feel like you put damage active always here, but he's putting it on the bench. I can just evolve that to Gardevoir, uh, Baby Guardian, it's kind of fine. Actually, maybe the strat for this turn is just to go attack with Big Guardian. Okay, that's candy, that's super nice, actually. I want to hit Iona really badly, but I guess I have to just draw to, so like, Bobby gets probably stop isn't that big of a deal. I mean, I know it doesn't really force that much out of him, to be honest. Okay, I got all my evol- Uh, not all of them. But I got most evolutions I want. Okay, we'll, we'll play. Like, I mean, it's not- It's not the end of the world for him, but... So yeah, we got Candy, this... Evolve Active into Baby Guardi, into uh, Guardi X, I think. Evolve- So I think it's Evolve this. Evolve this into Guardi X, and the goal is to hit Guardi X for this one as well. Yeah, that seems fine. And I have four cards plus the Iron Edge to do it. And we're really far behind here. This, this is probably going to be pretty tough to win. Uh, do, do I even want to super? I probably don't want to super right now. 
Because I don't want to play Manaphy this turn. Okay, I don't know. Really don't want to play uh, Manaphy this turn. Okay, we hit the EX. It's nice. Hit Reversal as well, but not too insane. Oh, could go attach here as well. I mean, there's no way for him to kill my Guardiacs anyways, but he can start to stack damage on it, so I might just be giving him free damage by doing that. Yeah, I'll do this. Seems probably right. I mean, maybe it's too short-term thinking, but... I don't know, I'll do it. Whatever. Yeah, I think it's better than Arcana. Yeah. And then we can evolve this into Arcana if it doesn't get damaged. Otherwise, I can go for like Cresselia next turn, then he has to kill this, this, and this. Which, I don't know if he's running Kyogre. Oh yeah, he is, well we know he's running Kyogre. He's still like, he's not gonna get it yet. If we spam I don't know against him, maybe we can survive it. <clears throat> I, don't know. I guess I always put the energy here because I can decide later if I wanna attach it. But I think we just do this. This is my gut call, so. Oh wait, oh I don't know. The cards on bottom, well it was another I don't know. It was actually good. Yeah, it was my last I don't know, actually. I need to draw that. Okay, kill. The Curlier, I'm not sure where the other four counters go. Yeah, I agree. I think you should have killed Curlier instead of Curlier. I think killing Manaphy is a bit bait. So the, the, the issue for us is we still have a lot of game left and we haven't really achieved much, but uh, I can't believe he's running three save by. It's so annoying. He's down Power Pad, which doesn't really mean much. He's down what? Triple Chorus. So if he plays his last Chorus, we know he's out of Chorus. That can be useful for us for I knowing him low later. But yeah, I mean, he's just going to go Sableye here. But the question is like, how does he... I mean, how does he get all these Keras? Double Manaphy as well. So he's low on Dragon. He's not running Dragonite. He's just running Lax. Hmm. Last three, fourth, Kyogre on Guardi X and something else. Yeah, yeah I agree. <clears throat> okay, he's running Clara. Makes sense. I uh, Clara in a sec. So he gets back Sableye, he's just gonna kill Kelly, put damage to our baby Gotti here. And so the plan this turn ideally would be to Cresselia this. Hopefully I can hit it. I mean, I should definitely be able to hit the Cresselia, I don't think that's a question. So he's up to 8 8 cards in hand. I get the question is can I draw Iron know. It'll, it'll be pretty tough, I don't think I'll draw it. Like ideally I would hit Iron Cresselia, but yeah, we'll see here. See how he places damage as well, it's pretty difficult for him. I assume he wants to put damage on Gotti. Maybe he puts like 30 or 20 here. I actually know. I don't know how he'd do this, how i do this. I'd probably just put it all to Guardi X, but then I can maybe attack with that Guardi X because I know he's not running away to kill it while it's active. How many ropes is he down? So I'd presume he's not running. He's down all four ropes. So I'm assuming he's not running boss, I don't think. Uh, he's down pow pad. Does that mean he is running boss? I guess we'll see off this poke again, maybe. You got 8 on Kelly or 1 on the 50 damage Guardian, 130 on active. Yeah. No, I think you put more. I think you put 30 on this. Oh, he Pokestop, so he's no supporters in deck. It's only items. We got a lot of info out of him using Pokestop there, actually. I don't think he's running boss, so I, th I think the idea is that we attack with this Guardi. Or, I don't know, we have a lot of options. If he's not running boss, then yeah, he has no way to Kyogre through the Guardi. I mean, I guess... I guess his issue is he's still not that strong against Iono. He's down, what, three Chloris, one Clara, Palpat as well. He might not be running multiple Clara. I don't know. Weird deck. He's on the latest late night. What up? Oh, you guys probably heard that. Yeah, no, there wasn't any other energy type. This is just the deck. All right, it's power pad as well. Four chorus on Clara is interesting. Oh, he goes, goes with a rope here. Uh, horn here. It gives us a lot of info. Yeah. But what is he doing though? I don't really see the vision. Is he going to kill Muse and put more damage to Guardi X? But it doesn't make sense. I, I, I don't think he's running boss and he has no way to get back Clara. So he's 
quickly, I think, running out of um, things to do here. Because he has to kill this guardy. I, I guess it will just see what he does, but... I think there's so many issues here. And what if I just literally get back Manaphy? Like, literally, it's all I have to do, I feel like. He's playing 60 to both, so now I can just go Cresselia. I don't know. Like, I'm just free to go Cresselia, right? If I can get Manaphy down as well, it's super good. If I can just get Manaphy the next two turns. Like, he has nowhere to kill this at this point without Karaga. We're losing, so reversal works. I guess my plan here is literally just run him out of resources, and the god way to do that is just hit two super odds. Oh uh, yeah, so I, my goal is just to bench him out a few two turns in a row, uh, evolve this, make it so he can't kill anything. I do go Cresselia as well, and just go. Because, yeah, he's going to run out of ways to kill things, right? His only... Oh no, he still has two super odd. Yeah, he's going to be able to save by every turn, probably. Yeah, it's a bit, actually such an issue. How I deal with that? I know, I guess. If he stabilizes every turn, I can't win. I mean, I think we're just supposed to Cresselia this turn regardless. I guess maybe we, if he runs out of resources, if he like super odds, he's out to ways to... I shouldn't have worked it. Why did I work off? Tunneled. Um, yeah. Oh wait, what am I doing? Super odd first. Oh, that's so bad. Just playing badly. <clears throat> Just playing cards, to be honest. Not actually thinking. So I have one level ball, one ultra ball, the Manaphy. Okay, maybe this was the game telling me I wasn't supposed to mention Manaphy here, which which kind of seems right, in, uh, to be honest. <clears throat> because you can't win with Kyogre here, because I'm healing. Okay, we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> And also, like, it doesn't give him a target for Sableye, so his Sableye is ineffective here. So, his sa so I, I get to scam a turn here, actually. Scam a turn and a resource. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I thought I didn't have enough energies, but I can just retreat. I could have also gone Greninja, like, it doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess the question is, does he still Kyogre here? Because it might be worth it, actually. It probably is worth it, right? But am I down collapsed? I am. So, he can do it. He probably should. I will see what he does. I guess it depends how much how much resource he has left. Like he's he was down a recycler, right? No, no, he's not. He's not down a recycler. Okay, we'll see how this goes. This is gonna be tough to win. Uh, full record video is uploaded second channel. No, I just upload games on the second channel. Too complex for its own good, yeah. This is, see, this is why I don't play Ogre Lost Box. It's too complex for its own good, yeah. You're right. This seems like suboptimal Lost Box gameplay, yeah. Probably kick W double road, and yeah. YouTube channel is kind of just whatever I feel like it should be, to be honest. It's kind of just a vibe check. So if the, he lets the Cresselia attack every turn of the game, he's not going to win. So I mean, he actually has to do something here, which is not what he wants to be having to do. He doesn't want to actually have to actually do something. Wait, how many Poke Gears is this was played? How many has he played? This is placed two Poke Gears, he's played three. So he's di different he's different from his list. I guess we'll find out what the Cardi Cut is. We haven't really seen much. Yeah, I mean, he literally just cut something for third Poke Gear and we can't tell what it is. Oh, the level ball, definitely. So that doesn't matter. Yeah, let's, let's forget about the final of games played then. Yeah, I still it, it didn't it didn't help me. Let's be real. Okay, he's actually going ogre this turn. Interesting. Uh yeah. So plan is to go boss trap maybe. Um, actually no, it's not. It's it's just yeah, it's just boss trap I guess. But he benched the ogre though. That's so good for us. He goes ninja here. I just go like Cresselia off bench Manaphy, and now I'm actually like com competitive. Wait, wait. I just have to not kill anything, right? And he can't do anything. He can't attack. He's no good way to attack. If I just don't kill anything. Right? 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 Let's see what he moon like shurikens. I'm actually interested. If it goes on guardies, he's just gonna lose. Interesting. I feel like this never wins. Wait, he only has one save by left, right? One save by here? Yeah. So you can only save by- Oh no, you can rod. Wait, but he didn't rod back save by that. That's so interesting. I don't know what he's doing. Wait, how many switch cards does he have left, actually? He has two Mirage Gates- Wait, how many Mirage Gates does he play? Does this list play? Four. Okay. 
So there's a couple of Mirage here, but he needs energies for those. I feel like we can run him out of energies here, to be honest. Yeah, so we got a Manaphy this turn for sure. Oh, we can just Arcana. I mean, I should probably Arcana after Iron because I'm playing Iron this turn, I think. So this goes here. Wait, does it? Wait. Wait, I need to discard an energy somehow. So I just Ultra Ball for the Manaphy. I think I just got two energies. I don't need this many energies. One energy left. I have boss as well. Second Super Rod. I guess we're just trying to hit second Super Rod off the thingy. What if I don't kill anything here? What does he do? What if I don't, wait, what if I don't, I don't know. What if I just don't kill anything? He has to attack with Cram into my active. So that gives me a free turn. If he attacks with Cram into my active, I get literally just a free turn. So to kill his Kyogre, I guess. No, we don't need to kill, eh. We kind of do want to kill the Kyogre. We can run him out of energies, because if in that case, he only has five energies left. So he has six in discard, one here. He has a couple in loss zone, right? He's three, so that's six, nine, ten. Oh, we can play on her regardless. It's fine. But I, I, I might not be supposed to kill this, because yeah, I literally just get a free turn. And not only do I get a free turn, I am to pivot into his cram right, and he's kind of running out of switch cards. Like, he's very much running out of switch cards. It's so like he has to retreat to this to attack this turn, because he's board locked. And then I get to heal my Gardevoirs more as well, actually. Like, assuming he's not running boss, it's just, like, correct. Down two stops. He probably is just running three. I have enough energies left that I can do this and this. Oh, actually, no, I should only poke for 80 here. And then next turn, I just attach one more to this Guardi. Okay. And, I'm gonna, and then I get more time to draw my super rod, which is what I need. And Palpat as well. Okay. So yeah, we just Moonglow versus Kyogre. And we can kill it next turn. Just run him out of attackers is the idea. <clears throat> this is where the Lost Box experience is mad useful. Yeah, exactly. I know exactly how I'd lose this game, so. <laughs> because the, yeah, the cool part about this is he just doesn't get a pivot next turn as well. So he has to burn an, a pivot. So I can just kill this. So, so he uses this pivot to get into the Kramer and then I can kill the Sableye and then he's down another pivot. I mean, this, this was just better because free heal, right? So this is just objectively the best. Oh wait, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I'm trolling actually, because he can just kill Manaphy and the other thing now. But I guess he has no way to take the prize after actually. So once he Sableyes kills Manaphy Cresselia, he just has no way to do anything. He has no way to take a singular prize. I don't actually think this was that good, but in hindsight, this probably wasn't even that good. I guess I like, uh, boss up Nin. Uh, no, nah, it's fine. If he attacks with Cram, I, uh, I win. But he just kills these two, and then yeah, has zero way to take the last prize. When I bench Manaphy. I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't think this was right, actually. This is probably wrong. Probably just incredibly unnecessary. I thought it was just strictly right, but it, I think it was just strictly wrong in hindsight. But yeah. How much damage, extra damage does he get? So I heal 30, 70, 30, 20. Oh. So I have to go here. Wait, no, no, but I can reversal. Yeah, I should go here. We can super rod and then arcana. The situations where that probably happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah, reversal is super good. I, I feel like there isn't a way for him to win. Oh, wait, no, he can... Ma he can oh my god, I threw this, I think. Wait, what if I let him take the prize? With Cram. Oh, this doesn't work. Yeah, this is a bit stupid, actually, in hindsight. You're very stupid. I don't have Collapse left. I mean, there's no other play. I just have to see how this goes, basically. I guess maybe Iono saves me. I don't even know. I can't ball lock him for another turn, can I? I mean, it doesn't achieve anything. I just kill Kyogre. Yeah, I, I, uh, I guess this was, yeah. 
I don't think this is too far enough, to be honest. Yeah, the damage is exactly right for him. It's 30, 70, 20, and then he can kill the Arcana. There's no way for me to heal it. He's literally exact. I guess maybe he has no pivots left or no energies. Nah, he'll have energies. Maybe no pivots. Yeah, because if he... Uh, Mm. If I didn't, do, yeah, if I didn't do that, you have nowhere to win because he wouldn't have enough Sableyes left. Oh no, he would. He would be able to get back two Sableyes. So he would still win, but, oh wait, no, but maybe he'd be out of pivots at that point. I guess we'll see if he's already out of pivots because he might be. We can just get a tie in game three, yeah. I mean, I, should, I shouldn't have lost this. I went for, um, like, ridiculous play that was, like, technically slightly... Though, like, made sense in one aspect, but not enough aspects. Well, I guess the strat is just... I own him to one and see what happens. It can definitely work. I think. I mean, like, what's he actually gonna do? But, I mean, obviously, I just attack with God of War X here. And then kill the Sableye and iron him to one. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, he has to have a Mirage Gate in deck. If he has no Mirage Gates in deck, he can't win. I guess the goal is to get super right off this iron know, from my perspective. Yeah, I just tag with this one this turn and then next turn I retreat and tag with the other one. I guess I'm also trying to hit boss. So I probably just play this level ball out. Okay. I'll double Arcana post. Wait, do I want to put back boss iron know? Probably right. Might need those cards next turn. Because I don't know one still doesn't give him his whole deck. I mean, obviously, but... Like, even through Comfy. I mean, he can easily have a hard loss zone decision. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like there's, there's outs here. Probably, maybe not great, but... This will get an energy, but I don't want to... Eh, I should attach it still. It's not... I don't know. It's not too. So, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, this is play was... So, there's the bot. Um, wait, so I'm looking for super odd. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. And the, I guess I super odd now to bring back Chrysalia and Manaphy. Because the, those are the two that I might need next turn. Wait, what am I doing? If I just Chrys... Oh, no, no. Yeah, right. I couldn't Chrysalia here. Yeah. yeah. There's a reason I did that. I couldn't Chrysalia because any mana is saved by kills with Chrysalia, so it's no different. It's the exact same. Just kill. But yeah, Crusalia might be effective next turn. We'll see. It just depends. Maybe I can boss Greninja as well to try and trap him. Maybe, I mean, maybe the play, I mean, I guess the play next turn will just be boss Greninja and then hope he doesn't have the cards in hand. He has a chorus left. Could we lost prize? Probably not lost prize. Probably cram here. So interesting. Does he have chorus? Is one card chorus? Or does he just not have a Mirage Gate left? He could just not have a Mirage Gate left. Nest Wolf of Sableye and just pray that you survive. That's crazy. If he actually has nothing, that'd be crazy. So I can just boss kill attack with the other God of War, I should win. Surely has nothing. Rain to watch. I mean, then this game is really difficult to navigate way, yeah. So he's just gonna attack me and then the plan is just to go boss uh kill his ring with Chrysalia. If we can have if, if we can even draw that. Okay. So there's no reason not I guess it's we boss Kyrog actually. That should always win. He has no switch cards left, he only has Mirage Gate. Yeah, yeah, this should be guaranteed at this point. And see how this is ever not guaranteed. Okay. The yeah, iron actually got him. By the looks of things. Yeah, he should have nothing left. Okay.
Yeah, this game was rough. <clears throat> yeah, Picnic Basket would have won this. Would have won this a turn ago. Damn, this game was super hard to win. Actually, let's go. It's a good game. <clears throat> One big mistake there, but the rest of it was okay. But it's good to get more experience in this matchup. Nice. 